this is an old car okay we all know it's an old car so when i drive the car i feel a bit of pain i've done a lot you know i feel that when i drive it uh, and then in terms of the sound here and there so that's one thing that i tend to improve because it's an old car so when i drive it it's a proton but when i stop by i need to fill up petrol i need to uh, buy something at the supermarket or what when i park people appreciate i'm haris iskandar and i drive a 1993 proton iswara So when I bought the car last time, I bought it for 7,000 Malaysian ringgit. That time I was uh, just finished my school back in 2013, I would say. So I bought the car, it was bone stock. It's not like what you guys see today because it's in a bad condition. So the paint is out, everything is out. So I choose this car to work on it, you know, as the, the car is my project car today uh, because it's my first car. It's the car that I've grown up with and I've done a lot. I actually got an offer from an, a, a young guy that came by and uh, met me in person at, an, at a car event actually at first. He was interested to buy this car. He gave me a very good offer actually. You guys won't believe this but it was at 48k. He wants to buy this car from me. So the time, the money, the effort that I put into this car, it's very hard for me to let it go. Many people say that, bro, what else are you waiting? 48K, sell it and buy a better car. You know, a lot of people are saying that. It's in my thought until today. First of all, why this is the car that I decided to drive and own? It's very simple. Number one, it's Proton, okay? When I say it's Proton, it's not an import brand. It's something that we produce in Malaysia, our own people. And number two is because back then I was still studying. I was in college. I was still a student. I had two choices. You know, my dad gave me two choices. Uh, number one is um, Iswara, of course, the one that we have here. Number two is a 124 Mercedes Masterpiece. So I turned down that offer. I'm not interested in that. And I went with this one. So uh, I would say it's a car that many of us, not only me, a lot of people enjoy driving. It's nice to daily drive it. Uh, you don't have to think a lot about the maintenance part because it's affordable uh, at, at my rate because I'm still studying. I'm not uh, working and stable yet at that moment. It's a good car to own as your first car. So when I say I'm uh, studying again, I don't have an income at that time. I'm from an average family whereby uh, I have to work and I have to find my own living. If I love cars, you know, blessings has been given from my mom. So when I receive that blessing, it's something that you can do it. You know, when your mom gives you blessing, you can do whatever you want. That's what I believe. That's my principle. So when my mom says, yeah, go for it. You want to do it, do it, but work for it. So it means I have to work, right? So I, I got a few jobs, part-time jobs. Yeah, there's a lot of jobs here and there that I take. I grab those jobs. Because why? At that state, at that level, I'm still young and with, with no experience. So it's something that I, I can do in order for me to mod the car, right? The paint job, I want to give it something different, a fresh look. You know, this car is an old car. Striking colour does not suit it. You know, I do have people coming by and saying, why not red, yellow, green? It does not suit the car. So it has to be something different. So I chose green khaki as the color of the car. And this car, people love that color on a classic car. Okay, so the brakes, it's four port. I have done conversion from the Skyline R33, a little bit of bodywork, engine swap, uh, interior. I'm using uh, A1 Defi meters to monitor my oil temp uh, and whatnot. The engine is, yes, it's a 4G61T Mitsubishi engine. It's a 1.6 litre engine taken from a Mitsubishi Mirage. So this engine is not new, as we all know. It's 61, 63, 67, it's the 6th series, you know, like the EVOS engine. This engine is pretty rare for me. I'm sure if some of you or many of you who know about Mitsubishi and uh, study about the old engines that they have. So it's not new. Okay, number one, 4G61 is durable. 
long lasting it's very very good in a way because this engine can live up to many years so there's a lot of conversion done like the 63 uh, evo 3 engine so i want to try something different and it's a 1.6 liter i want to see how far can it go so i've reached along that way already so yeah that's why i chose this engine because it's good and it's reliable and um, it's long lasting something different i have a plan coming up so the plan is more towards the engine because the rest I'm done. I'm, I'm satisfied at the moment. The target horsepower that I want to achieve on this car is 450. It's a lot, I know. It's a lot. I have planned this. It's not just uh, saying this. I have planned this. The items that I need is a lot. I've listed out. We're going all out, which is forged piston, rod manly, AR70 ball bearing turbo, which I will boost at 1.5. Now it's just 0.5 boost, so it's still stock. So I want to see, because it's a, it's a Proton and I've done this much, why do I stop now? So I feel like, let's go all out, let's just, just do it. I want to get there. I would say this is a hobby at first. So when I say hobby, something that we enjoy to do. So when you enjoy to do it, you don't care what you have to put in, which is the money and the time. So for me, it's something that I enjoy doing at first. Yes, a lot of money involved, a lot. And then I, at one stage, I feel like all this that I have done, it's actually an, a chance of me to start up all over again, whereby now people are sending their cars to me, coming from you know, far away, like Nilai, Seremban, Johor, uh, Penang, they came to me, they trust me, they give me their car key, bro, I would love you to restore my car, can you please do it for me? This is my plan. So for me, that thing has made me think like, you can see it as a hobby, whereby you put a lot of money and time to it, but it will still turn out in a good way. I am in education line. Actually, it's not something that I want to do at first, it's not, you know. I think many of us, right, we study engineer, at the end you become a chef in a hotel. You know, it's, it's normal. So for me, I feel like it's that's my line. I've been given a chance to become a lecturer. I enjoy it. I love teaching. Uh, I love to educate. I'm an English lecturer. I don't even tell them a single thing about me because where I'm at, it's a private-based uh, college. It's uh, not like under government's not well known, it's private, so it's a centre whereby uh, I don't share with them. When I go to the centre, I tend to educate them, do what I do. So uh, for me, I feel like it's something that I don't think I want to pull them and to influence them to do like what I'm doing right now because, yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. Whatever field you're in, we are in a car-related base, right? So we love cars. We want to make a living out of it. It's our passion. So when we put our time, you know, our, our focus on it, and of course, we will be good at it. Because why? You, you love it, right? At first. So when we reach at that level, at that state, people will tend to feel like this guy has made it that far. So he wants to be like you for example that's what i see so when they want to be like you they maybe they they still need time or they, they're still at that level whereby they're still going up so they will tend to come out with harsh words saying that this and that uh, trying to put you down it's normal for for everyone not only me you know so i do have that i do have yeah people saying that ah oh, it's a proton proton je bro uh, buat apa you habiskan banyak-banyak apalah proton membazir duit okay god and then some people saying that this car where can it go you know that kind of question so for me i push away all this because why look at this field when you have a lot more appreciating you thanking you and want to be like you it has no value i understand that but what I have done, the time, the effort and all the money that I have put in into this car, it was not easy. So, as I said earlier, uh, I don't feel like stopping now because 
I've made it this far. I would say the journey have maybe for me in order to feel satisfied with this car has reached about 60%. So the remaining 40%, I've made it more than halfway. So I feel like if I stop, you know, just give up, work on another car, I can. I don't want to. You know, I've made it this far and the sentimental value towards it, it's a lot. I, I, I assume you guys can see that, okay? Uh, so yeah. It's not about money anymore. It's not about money, if you ask me. Because I've spent a lot. I can buy a better car. You know, I choose this car still. Uh, the, the problem is not about money anymore. So I feel like I'm just going to do it.